Hello everybody and welcome to You and Me Creamery. My name is Delaney Drake and I'm hopping on here to sort of give a little tutorial on how to come to our farm and pick up any dairy supplies or soaps or eggs. You'll come in and you'll see our little farm sign. This has our times and our hours. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram to kind of stay updated on the products and items we have available. This is our station for our gardeners who are interested in using some of our rabbit poop for their gardens. We do ask that you guys park on the sidewalk, the road, <laughs> um, and not the wood chips. The wood chips are not a parking area. They're actually for a food forest that we are starting. It's something that um, we are kind of passionate about and that we're hoping to start this year or next. Um, we already have a few fruit trees planted in there, fruit bushes. Um, so even though it looks like a parking spot, um, please don't park on the wood chips. Make sure you park in the driveway. You'll come down this way, you can park kind of right in this area, um, and then you'll just walk into here, and right behind our stairs is the pickup spot. So here is our little milk pickup station. Most of our dairy products are in this little fridge. This is the milk, um, the feta, and the yogurt. We are gonna have an instruction on how to sort of go through the process of picking up um, any of those items. We will also have some extra mason jars here that you guys can purchase in case um, you forget any at home. Are you guys gonna be quiet and let me talk? <laughs> so the process that we have right now is that you take a mason jar of milk and you bring it over to the table um, try to do it on the metal because it's a lot easier to keep clean and you fill up the mason jar that you bring with the milk that you want to purchase. So for any of you guys picking up milk, um, if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a bit of a cream line that happens. Um, really as soon as you put it in the fridge, the cream starts to separate and you'll see it on the top and you'll also see it kind of... Um, stick to the sides. So one of the things that I suggest that you do on pickup is before you pour it into your jars is to give it a good shake. That way the cream that is stuck to the sides will incorporate back into the, into the milk and that will get the cream off the sides. And you're good to pour. And then there's two things that you can do with a mason jar that you've completely emptied. You can either put it back in the fridge that keeps it from getting a little, getting too grimy, or we have a bucket here and I'll label it, but it's a bucket that is water and soap. And so you can just dunk the jar and the lid in there and I will pick it up when I come out to clean. We also have a bucket down here with some paper towels and a spray bottle. If for some reason you are to spill a little or make it a little, just get a few drops or whatever, you wipe it down with the paper towel and then you spray with the bottle. The bottle is labeled cleaner um, and it's right there in our um, stainless steel kind of pail. So just spray it down. You can wipe it again if you get it too wet, but I'm not too worried about it. But as long as the cleaner gets on there after you spilled a little milk, it just, again, keeps the area a little clean. And then we have a little trash can where you can put the paper towels. Last but not least, if you are interested in eggs or soap, depending on the temperatures outside and the weather, we can't just leave them out and we don't have space in the fridge. So we have a cooler down here. So if you're interested in eggs or soap, let me know and I will put them in this little container for you to come and pick up. We use Venmo instead of cash because we just don't want to keep cash all over the place and uh, there's not a real great place to keep it out here that's stable and you can't just grab it and go so Venmo is the best way we do it we have our Venmo code right here and we will have my four the last four digits of my phone number on there as well and that's how you pay you just pick up as much as and whatever you want and then add the costs and then just Venmo us and you're good to go 
There is only one rule that we have when it comes to pickup, and that is that we please ask you not to wander too much. Um, like I said, sometimes they have animals in here, and that's okay. But anything further back, we do have electrified fencing, and we do have an LGD, which, in, which is a livestock guardian dog. And so we just ask that you don't wander around too much to stress her out, stress the animals out, or potentially get hurt by accidentally touching some electric fencing. But other than that, <laughs> I think I covered everything. We appreciate you guys coming out and supporting us so much. Please let me know if there's anything here that I missed that would make pickup a little bit easier, a little bit um, quicker for you guys. Just let me know this is kind of what I what I set up and I think I covered all my bases but in case I missed anything please let me know and we will adjust it um, if we can but we look forward to having you guys come pick up you will probably see me kicking around around here um, and we just look forward to being able to provide our dairy products and some of our farm products to y'all so hope you guys had a wonderful Easter and we will see you guys hopefully soon